Let's remake the form tool that we use to cut our custom threads for the Porsche 930 turbo fuel cap, folks. So here's the final product. Show how easy this really is. Here's the fuel cap that Sam designed, and Sam did all the heavy lifting from Birch House Design, so thank you for that. Right here, he's got a fill it out, and if I click on that, it shows me this thing. Well, that's a combine. It's not that thing. Click on, click on it here, and I, is it gonna give me the, I'm trying to show you, you can figure out, here it is. So let's rewind our timeline back to there. Sure enough, we get this little sidewall, which is where the thread ends. And if you take a look, that's exactly what we would want our form tool to be shaped like. So that's what makes this so easy. Right click, new component, form tool, sketch, create sketch, and click on that plane that is face of that surface here. Hit P for project. And it's kind of weird. I don't actually have the ability to click on the face, which I don't understand why, but no big deal. I can actually project the actual, the lines of the curve. Oops, a little bit slower. Um, a little bit slower, but no big deal. So I've got my lines, click OK, and turn off the light bulb next to the fuel cap, and that shows you the shape that we need to get. Hit L for line, sketch out a line, down to here, over to here, I'll T for trim, that little side up, and let's say that the overall height or width should be, can I do that? Not letting me do that. You have to adjust that, but you could say that this is point, point 0.4. You gotta use the keyboard shortcut S to bring up the, um, not the sketch toolbox thing, but the, hitting S will let you automatically search for anything. So SR gives me the revolve, click one, two, Faces, switch your axis to here. Amazing, folks, right? I, I freaking love it. We're gonna put a countersunk hole in there. SH hole. Now, I don't have a point yet, so just click anywhere. Countersink, uh, I, of course, have McMaster pre opened. So we see here that a quarter 20 flathead has a 531. Uh, inch total outside face at an 82 degree angle. It defaults to the 82 degrees, so we just change our countersink diameter to 0.531. That gives us the right one. I know it's in the wrong place. I don't care because I'll go to construct. Actually, can I do? I probably can't type. Not worth using the S keyboard for everything. Point at center. Click that, and now if I, you know, I may not be able to do it this way because the, um, yeah, the point is ahead. I gotta reorder these. So go back here. Probably a better way to do that. Mm -hmm. And change it to that point. Oops, it should go all the way through here. Hit R for rectangle, I'll click this face. And now you, now you get into some tool debate stuff. Uh, well, I'll show you what we're doing. Real first, just Q to press pull it and let's just wipe that all away. And that gives you your form tool. Now how I did it was, of course, that engineer is creeping into me, which is not a good thing. Um, I was like, oh, let's use constraints here. Uh, coinc or no, co horizontal vertical rather, and pick that point and that point. And now you know that it's exactly you know on center, which is great. Um, actually, that doesn't need to be and shouldn't be this big. I'll increase this depth here to say 
Um, but the problem is, and you saw if you watched the video, is relief. If you, if you look here, you're gonna be rubbing as you push the tool in. And so a smarter way is to make use of the curve uh, to give you some natural relief that means you have to grind less. So if I make this again, I think the smarter thing is gonna be, click on that horizontal vertical, delete, drag it down, and it is, it is a good thing um, it is a good thing to do this parametrically with a distance. That way you can adjust it if you need to. So we'll say 0.125 there, and we can keep this at 0.3 if we want to just control that location. And if you now look, you've got a lot more natural relief built into the tool. The other thing we could do that we didn't talk about in uh, the video is you could grind or mill or file in some back uh, rake to the tool uh, to give it a positive cutting angle, which probably would help as well. But the point here was to show you how easy it is to take this you know, really cool thing that Sam made from a photograph of a vehicle at a car show. And not only did he model the part, but now we can make custom tooling without really doing uh, any hard work. So hope you enjoyed that. If you did, I appreciate thumbs up in this video or commenting below. Otherwise, see you next Friday, folks.